hard, Andrew. This is wet aged. Ooh, smell that numbingness that it has. Yo, what's going on everybody? Okay, we are about to start our low, middle, high Asian steakhouse journey. David, we're starting here, which is ABC Cafe. Now, is it a steakhouse really? It's a it's a Hong Kong cafe. It's open 24 hours, it's very famous. It's an Asian steakhouse. Is it a steakhouse? No, 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 no. We're going to go to cheap, middle, and then super high end. We're starting at the bottom third, ABC Cafe, Monterey Park, let's go. you guys, we are at ABC Cafe, very, very classic spot. Listen, Anna, we ordered all the most popular things. One ton, $5.99, sole filet cutlet, in a ribeye steak with two eggs, $11.99. I think, you know what I threw in there too though? Baked prawns with garlic sauce and lamb chop. Immediately you get a corn soup. It's cream of corn with ham. I'm more of a fan of borscht though, personally. Yeah, that's real cool. clam though. That's real David. That's real clam. Yo, this one ton is this one ton is good. It's legit. Okay, that's spicy. Wow. One ton is man. Always really solid here. I gotta go on the Soul filet, $6.99, guys. The fried sole fish, not bad. That's a big chunk of fish. David, right, we have arrived at the ribeye steak with over easy eggs. That's a huge piece. This is cut well. This meat, this piece cut well. We cut off that. So you're saying it's very tender? Yeah, what are you it was, to say? it was. This is cooked in a classic Hong Kong cafe steakhouse style. 11 dollars ribeye. All right, man. Okay. Very bad. We got this done medium well, and um, it's actually still really soft. I would say the true steak flavor is a little lacking in my opinion, but it's actually not bad at all. For eleven ninety nine, for a gigantic piece of steak, all the you know side dishes you're able to get for it, that deserves a four out of five. I was gonna give it a solid three point five out of five. Did not feel like it cracked four yet. I think for the size and price, you gotta give it to them. I wanna save some space for the land. All right, right. You get Five, that plus the shrimp ten. and grits. They will offer incredibly high-end dishes. And garlic prawns with cheesy mashed potatoes on top. Look at this. Or cheesy grits, garlic prawns. Oh, that's hot. I could imagine this dish at some steakhouses being at least $60. Let's go on to the lamb chops. Lamb chops, ABC Cafe. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's really good. I would say these lamb chops relatively are performing better than the steak. Yeah, no, I think it's better than the steak, I gotta say. I think the lamb chops taste more like lamb that I've had at other restaurants, higher end restaurants, but the steak did not feel like a steak that I would buy at any other spot. I amend my lamb score to four out of five, and I amend my steak score to 3.5 out of five. David, given the price and the fact that this spot is open for four hours a day, 4.5 out of five. There's a reason the ABC Cafe has been around for 20 years. Okay, so that wraps it up on our low level Asian steakhouse. Okay, we had ribeye, we had lamb chops already. We're going to our second spot, which is a, just a notch, a notch higher. But you're gonna see and you're gonna notice why. And then we're gonna be going to a high end Asian steakhouse, which the bill might come out to, I don't know. Hundreds of dollars, I'm just saying. All right, you guys, okay, we ordered a ton of food. $66. So trust me, I mean, this is enough food to feed maybe four people. Low, middle, high. So. Here we have you can't get this one at ABC Cafe. We just ordered, we ordered a bunch of steak, prime rib. Did you get the Chilean sea bass? I did. Wow. wow. Not a lot of restaurants where you can get all three of these drinks because this is iced lemon tea, Hong Kong style. This is the Hong Kong iced milk Classic. tea. And then this is wine, bro. Right. And then you have Hong Kong borscht soup. The borscht soup is actually a Hong Kong interpretation of a Russian soup. Oh, yes. Guys, Ovaltine, very popular in Hong Kong cafe. I mean, let me serve this up actually the braised short rib red, red braised braised short, short rib twenty one dollars got a little tendon in there a little 
gristle. What do you guys think it out of five mm. relative to the out price? Out of five? Four out of five. Pretty good, nice and tender. It's braised meats. Guys, just when you had thought a Chinese spot that serves fried rice cannot do a braised rib good, that'll prove you wrong. And let me tell you that, that's a lot of meat. They are not skimmy, look at this. That is a huge bone. Hey. You guys, we got Big Ray Talks. What's up, what's up guys? You, you guys may not have seen him on the channel, but that just goes to show you the cafe spot is a true neighborhood spot. Now, uh, whose kid is this? That is his kid, you know? kid. All right, a lot of people thought you think it's your kid. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip this in the oh, garlic wow. sauce. Dip Big dip Ray. It. Yeah, around here, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy oh, the did on the street. We got the garlic sauce with the lamb chops. I did it without the sauce. It was actually pretty good. Oh. I give it a 3.5. The flavor wise, I think it I like that a... better than the red brace. True, true, true. I think the, the lamb was a little bit overcooked. For me, I like this better. So what's the score, guys? Or I'm saying 4.5. 4. 4. 4. 5. 5. Yeah. 4.5. For I'm, lamb chops. I'm a little in a hand, bro. I'm a little in torn a hand, in between. Bro. That one was really good in its own way. This one's really that good. That one in its was own way. way better! I'm Yo, sticking with my score, a four and a four. I'm staying with the four on the lamb. Do the four each. Oh. I had that before. It was nice and tender and juicy. But the this, four. I like oh. the tenderness oh. on this one. All right, you guys, we have the ribeye for 18. Ribeye. Mmm. Rib Very beefy in texture. You can't go wrong with ribeye, though. Ribeye's hard to mess up. You look at that, son. He wants to give you a high five. There's a map out there. I thought the ribeye was pretty solid, but it was not the best one so far. Fair, I agree. I, agree. I give it a but, three out of five. It's a little chewy and uh, not as tender. I still, give it, I still give it yeah, a three. I think 3.5. All right, so the Chilean sea bass is $24. Obviously, at other restaurants, not a Tatan Tang or not a Seo Saitan spot, it's even more expensive than that. Okay. Chilean, Chilean sea bass. Mmm. Melting in my mouth right now. It needs a sauce. Does it taste kind of like scallopy? It does. It does. Mmm. I'd say with the sauce. I would say that piece of Chilean sea bass. I wish it was a little bit thicker. Mm. I don't know how you guys feel about this. I'm giving it a three. I give it a three out of five. That Easily. sauce is the best sauce we've had. It was a little bit on a dry side. You know, I wish it was a little bit more moist. I'll say it's a solid three out of five. Last but not least, guys. We have the filet mignon. Filet, filet mignon. mignon. 19 bucks. Oh. Oh. Mm. Wow. That was a sleeper. Oh. That was good. But I'm going to have to dip it into the chili oil because I'm a big fan of this one right here. Mm. 4.5 out of 5 on the filet mignon at the Hong Kong Steakhouse. Oh. Say, theme. Mm. <laughs> the way that they were able to achieve tenderness. Yo, it, you know, it was like a meatloaf. That's how soft it was. Wow. Perfect way to end off. So 4.5. I agree. I might have to. The lamb chops with that chili sauce, to me, is the knockout five out of five. Wow. It trumps the filet mignon. It's above four. I want to say like a 4.25. I know we're not doing that kind of number. What is your overall feeling on the mid end? To get filet mignon, gray short rib, it is pretty impressive for this price. Go well, out. I'll tell it's you crazy. this, it's much cheaper than Morton's Steakhouse. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we're gonna go to a fancy steakhouse after this, like a higher end spot, and we're gonna see the experience is probably a lot different. The cuts of meat are a lot different. Now, will you get filled up at both spots? Yes, but I will say this. It kind of does go back to Chinese restaurants providing such amazing value, where it's like, I don't always wanna think that Chinese food is always so cheap and affordable, but I gotta say that you can get a lot for your money. Yeah? Shoot. Oh, you know what? On that note, we gotta get out of here. All right guys, so that is it for your affordable level of an Asian steakhouse. But now we're headed to the higher end Asian steakhouse. We're gonna go change our clothes, you know. Let's go. Okay, everybody, we have just finished up at Cafe Spot and now we have arrived at Alexander Steakhouse, which is our upscale premium Asian fusion steakhouse. Cafe Spot was pretty solid. Surprisingly, the lamb was great. Steak was actually pretty solid. This is Chinese Taiwanese owned and is a Japanese Chinese blend steakhouse. Mm. They actually have a lot of Asian seasoning, real authentic. They have Sichuan, they have a lot of yuzu, ponzu sauce. It's actually pretty Asian. Hey, David, we uh, wore our best collared shirts. You know, I'm dressed like I'm gonna go drink uh, uh, watching rugby, but. And I'm, unfortunately, this is like the closest thing I had to a collar jacket. You look like you're like signed at a record label as a producer, but not working with the A-tier artists. 
David, are you ready to go into Alexander Steakhouse? <laughs> you know this spot is high-end because they only have locations in the Bay Area, Shanghai, Taipei, and Pasadena. Let's, Let's go. go. This is the hamachi shot. This looks interesting. I think you're supposed to eat this in one bite. So this is your edamame hummus with some black garlic oil at the bottom. Mm. I am definitely taking advantage of this bread bone marrow butter on this cheese roll. Ah. I'm really glad. Wow. I'm really glad we decided to come here. I'm going for the hamachi shot. That's delicious. Let me get a chase. Furikake potato croquette. A light furikake flavor. Now this actually has some Chinese uh, elements with the one-ton chip. Cheers. Oh, that's raw wagyu. Yeah, that's, that's wagyu. super rare. Wow. David, you think they're gonna give us chopsticks if we ask for them? This is a wagyu, wagyu gyoza. Wow, my God, yeah. that is a beefy gyoza. Guys, I want to tell you that this dish almost costs as much as our steak. This is a $55 piece of uni Miyazaki beef. Good. Oh, oh, David, uh, what's 55 divided by four? Almost 15, so it's like 14. 14. This is a $14 piece of uni with Miyazaki beef. Uni toast. Wow. Wow, we that was such a good land and sea combo. Udon mac and cheese. The udon mac and cheese I liked the aftertaste a lot. I liked the Parmesan chip. I wish they would have used real udon. The fried rice was actually really subtle. Yeah, that really had a was a great accoutrement. Yeah, like this? No, oh <laughs> more like Gabby. You still Gabby. have. I believe next up, Andrew, is the Sichuan peppercorn steak. All right, Andrew, this is wet aged. I know there's a difference between dry aged, wet aged, but someone told me that wet aged is actually much more economical because dry aged, you, you have to pay for a lot of expensive equipment. Oh, it looks rare, I like it. Cut all the seams. Wow. So you were cutting along with the grain. I smell the peppercorn. Ooh, I smell that numbingness that it has. Up then I'll take that. Give me this end Wow, piece. you want the end. I want the end all piece. the seasoning. I actually really like the end pieces. Sichuan peppercorn wet aged ribeye. Tastes that heat. It's a little sweet too. There's definitely that blackened burnt flavor along with the slight Sichuan numbing flavor kick right there. This ribeye was about $70. Obviously, that is the price of about three different steaks or like, you know, lamb chop steaks at Cafe Spot. The steak at Cafe Spot is probably a, a better deal, but this is overall like obviously a much better experience at $24. And I think it would just depend on your priorities, what you value, what type of life you want to live. It was pretty good. I did like it. You cannot find this flavor at a lot of spots, so that's why you would come here. Obviously, you'd come here for the experience, the other side dishes. I put ABC at tier three. And then at two notches over, I put Cafe Spot. And four notches over from Cafe Spot, I put Alexander Steakhouse. Okay, we got some friends who probably will will never eat here on their own. Because maybe the vibe, even the price, but even, it, to it. but even if they're trying to spend that much, maybe or, they or maybe, or maybe they would spend it just at a Western Steakhouse. Yeah, or like a really high-end like Korean barbecue or hot pot or something like that. Mm -hmm. Why don't you think that they would come here? To be honest, a lot of Asians have given up on finding a high-end blend between East and Western civilization, society, cuisine, culture. It's much easier to say that this is my low-end side, which is my Asian immigrant side. We have to wholeheartedly buy into sort of the Western hierarchy where, you know, Western spots or Western people or Western things are higher end. I think some of our friends would not want to eat here because they would feel like that it's Asians catering to a lot of non-Asians. While like a really expensive Korean barbecue spot, I guarantee you most people who eat there, especially if it's in LA, are gonna be Asian. I think if you can come here, and you have a desire, I think you definitely gotta try it. I think it's crazy how checking out low, middle, high just sparks so many thoughts about life. And uh, I hope you guys did too. Otherwise, 
just tell us what level you guys wanted to be at in other silos of niches like Asia Fusion Steakhouses where you would like us to check out low, middle, high. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that video. Turn on your notifications, subscribe to our channel, and we had a lot of good food in this video, even from the low, middle to the high. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we out. Peace. Okay, guys, um, check reveal, but we did not tip yet. So after tip, I think it's about 268. Closest to 275.